Tony, we're here in London. You're homeless. Tell me about it. In the beginning, uh, my uncle got cancer. I had my own flat and I was working at the time. And he wouldn't take a personal care of, so I had to move it in with him eventually and give up my job, give up my own flat. And when he died, I thought I'd take over his flat because I've been paying all the bills and everything. And the council said no. So the, all, all they offered me was a hostel, and I went no. And that's how I became homeless. And I've been on the streets now 25 years. 25 years. It's a long time. <laughs> that's a long time. Um, how have you survived? Uh, I work when I can, when the weather's right. <laughs> but here in England, you can never tell with the weather. And, uh, well, I just travel around the country. Um, you, you have uh, good spirits about you. You're positive. Oh, yeah. But, and, but you've, been a, you, you've had to see a lot being on the streets for 25 years. Yes, I've seen a lot more than most people. <laughs> and um, you've told me you've walked around Great uh, England. Yeah, the coastline of Great Britain twice. And how long did it take you? Two and a half years each time. Now that must have been a fun journey. That was, that was, that was great. Some great characters like working on the fishing boats. Um, I've done deck chair work, litter picking on the beaches. I've done... I've done gardening, painting and decorating, plumbing. <laughs> Jack of all trades. Now, you say now you enjoy homelessness. Yeah, in the beginning it was hard, but through meeting characters on the streets, I've learned little tricks of how to survive, and um, yeah, I enjoy it now. But you, uh, as we were talking, you you know you did try, you just adapted. Once you weren't able to get back your life, you kind of adapted to the streets. Yeah, yeah. And but people shouldn't have to live like that. No, they shouldn't be really. It's, um, because uh, when in England, when you're single and you're homeless, it's very hard to get anything because you're on the bottom of the list. And then, like single women or single women, uh, women with children or disabled people, they get top priority. So if you go on the list, if somebody comes on that's disabled, you drop another peg down, which shouldn't be right. Now, since you've had 25 years. You know a little bit about homelessness. Yeah. yeah. Well, how can we solve this? How can we get, you know, less people rough sleeping? What what needs to be done? It should open more hostels, like night shelters and things like that, where people can go. Because um, that, that would be, a, <coughs> excuse me, that would be the first step on the ladder, and then from there, possibly get them into a, a bed seat, and then from there, like into. Um, a single flat on their own and then hopefully they can get work from there you know so more services yeah now from what I hear services are being cut and we're seeing more and more people on the streets yeah uh, it's getting worse at the moment because of the Olympics they want everybody off the streets which is crazy H have you run into that yes 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 I've had uh, police with dogs um, armed police. I've had police in boats because I sleep down by the river, down by the River Lee. And they've come up in their boats, about 12 of them all armed with machine guns and everything. And they say, oh, you've got one week to move. And they didn't do this prior to the Olympics? No. no. They just left you alone? Yep. Because no. I, I even used to have the police come down in the tea break and bring me cups of coffee. Ah. <laughs> If you had three wishes, what would they be? Three wishes? Uh, first one would be to have a nice job. Second one would be to have a home for security. And third... No, I don't need a third, because I'm always happy. Thank you very much for talking to me. You're very welcome.